Hey, our nation, Ken of Rare here at TD, plays for this week's installment of the pregame. It's week four of the CFL campaign, and the Ottawa Red Blacks, sporting a record of 0-1 and 2, are traveling to Edmonton to take on the undefeated Edmonton Eskimos. Now, the storyline this season for the Red Blacks has been straightforward. They play some good football, but they've also been their own worst enemy. So the focus going to the game against the Eskimos is on the Eskimos, yes, but primarily on controlling the things they can control, up their effort, limit their mistakes, and compete like a team that needs a win. Things around? Always pressure to win games. We always feel it and we want to get that good feeling back. Um, our guys are working hard and you always want to be rewarded for it. We know we got a tough task out there in Edmonton, but it's very doable and uh, we're planning on going out there and putting our best foot forward and see what happens. Yeah, we've done some good things offensively and uh, there's no need to deviate from the plan or start flinching now. Uh, it's a long season and, uh, you know, I mean, if you look back at us last year, we, it's not like we were some juggernaut throughout the regular season. You know, we were a work in progress and we peaked at the right time. We were under 500 in the regular season, but we peaked late and started playing well. But uh, I think you'll see a team that continues to progress and we'll start stacking up the wins. In terms of roster moves, there are four notable changes. Nate McMillan is back in the lineup starting at right guard. William Powell will start at running back. Dajay Johnson will return punts and kicks. And on the corner position, Corey Tindall will get the start, replacing the recently released A.J. Jefferson. The eyes on you, is, is there a tendency, a, a trap to want to do more? No, just play the game. Play the game. I've been doing it for like the last 18 years of my life. Just play the game. It's another football game. Just execute the game plan. And I'm um, believing you, believing myself, and believing that my teammate. And um, we'll get a job done. As for the Eskimos, everything begins and ends with quarterback Mike Riley. He is the undisputed leader of that football team, and he has a compete level that is way off the charts. What makes Mike Riley so special? He can take a hit and keep on coming. It's uh, and he can get out of the pocket, you know. So we've got to be able to contain him. And again, like you, you know, you want to hit quarterbacks, and you hope every time you hit them, then sometimes that they're going to get a little slow coming up. But, he always gets up. No matter how hard you hit him, he gets up every time. He's very tough. Yeah. And I admire that. I, I, you know, He's the kind of guy that his team will play for because he's not quitting. And so, and, and as a defensive player, it makes you not want to quit because you know he ain't going to give up. So yeah. you got to keep working. So it's the Red Blacks and the Eskimos in a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference Championship, one that the Red Blacks won in the Snow Bowl here at TD Place. Should be a great football game. Thank you for joining me on the pregame. I'm Ken Avera, and we'll see you at the ballpark real soon.